I missed that intro. How you guys doing tonight? Woo. Hey, everybody. Hello. How you doing, Brian? Doing well. All right. I'm yelling, aren't I? I'm, I'm excited. I, I, uh, you know, I miss that intro live sometimes. You know. Uh oh. Be right back. <laughs> yeah, I um. <laughs> No, I don't think I could do it. My knees would go out. Uh, well, welcome, everybody. This is a, uh, a random stream. We've been talking about um, printers, Brian and I, and there he is. And uh, I said, hey, uh, or no, he said, I got an artillery uh, X1 in, in a box. And I said, so do I. And I said, well, maybe we should stream them and let's build these things. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, it's the only way they're going to get built. <laughs> yeah, so so we said okay, and then we set up a stream, and we're doing it. So uh, Dan wants to know: Is this a Brian or Jim and Brian build off? Ooh, or a dual build? Well, like we got let's let's do a simul build. Okay, I thought we were I, for a minute there. I almost got ready to race. I just uh... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so just so you guys know, um, we are streaming live on my channel, The Edge of Tech, and we're also streaming live on Brian's channel, BB3D, Brian Vines. And so if you are on either channel, we will see the comments. I think you have the comments of the StreamYard in, right? Uh, I've got the comments on my chat. I don't have StreamYard's comments up right now. Oh, I see how it is. I can switch is. that. No, I'm just joking. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> uh, so uh, just so you know, I'll watch uh, mine and I can respond to mine. If I respond to, to StreamYard, uh, it actually puts it on Brian's channel as well. Earlier when I said, yo, 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 it went out as Brian saying, yo, yo, yo. So <laughs> for, for small donations on my channel, I will type anything <laughs> you want on Brian's <laughs> channel right now. No, I'm just joking. Um, StreamYard's comments have a horrible delay. Yeah, they do. I usually watch the regular YouTube stuff. Um, and then StreamYard, you know, if, if we're doing multiple. But today it's it's not that big a deal i can watch kind of both and, and see what happens because i could see you know everybody's comments here i only can see the people who are on my channel over here and i can tell you if you're watching on my channel i'll give you something at the end no i'm just joking i'm just joking but, uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter which I bet, I bet jim's box is empty he built his a while ago yeah if this was a race i would not have cheated they would have been still in the box um just yeah, lift, lift the box off and there's like oh a, my a, a raising a raising ooh, thing ooh. in the table that lifts up <laughs> the yeah, yeah. printer up so i have a uh, a stainless steel rolling table that i usually use for resin lately i've been using it for lasers um <laughs> and uh i put wood down so it doesn't bounce off the stainless steel just so you know but but it's like wobbly you know so i gotta be careful um yeah, Travis says been a quite a while since he saw that box. He has one. I know um, a bunch of people have one. You never know. We might have some guests pop in. I know a couple people said, hey, I have one. Um, I know Steven the Lightspeed is very upset we didn't invite him, um, but I think he should get some pictures to us or, or join and show us his because he said he built the best one of all time. So no. I want to see that. Yeah, but that's too. the thing about this. I remember the first time I saw one of these was when Jimmy Shaw unboxed his. It was like the beginning of last year. Yeah, so it was a while. The Sidewinder X1 has been around for a little while. It has, it has. So, so uh, just so we know, um, on as far as this one goes, the we'll call it the Rockin' Sidewinder X1. Um, <laughs> it's on the Rockin' it, it channel. Was, it, it was sent to me uh, by Banggood. Um, after the stream, I'll put links in the description below. Um, but what we did was I'm, I'm simultaneously streaming. Brian uh, did an, uh, his own description. That way you guys aren't using my links on this channel and vice versa. But what I'll do is I'll put the Banggood links below. Um, but Banggood, just so you guys know, did send this to me. They didn't ask me for anything but a review video. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to build it today, and I'll probably do a review, review if I could talk video later. Where'd you get yours? Uh, I got mine from uh, from Artillery. Uh, Lena Liu at Sidewinder reached out to me um, a little over a month ago and asked if I wanted to uh, to do a review on a Sidewinder X1. And I said, okay. So she shipped it and I got it around the beginning of the month and it's been sitting in a box and I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. Nice. And I figured this would be a great way to at least get it out of the box because I can't review it 
until I've got it put together and I can start printing on it. So <laughs> nice. That is that well, is what we're gonna do. It, it is time. So um, we're gonna start putting this together. I know we're kind of on a limited time uh, frame tonight. We only have about six hours. So no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but uh, um, Brian's got family time coming up, and I have uh, baby time coming up. So our wives were gracious enough to let us come in on an off day and build these. So we're gonna start building. Um, but but Zolan said um, something's going on with Thingiverse. Zero zero results for any searches. You're absolutely right. I was trying to find something, and it took an act of Congress to get a result out of Thingiverse uh, yesterday. So I think, Thingiverse actually. is broken again, huh? Yeah. Yeah, imagine that. Even with the ads, I don't know. I know. You ever notice that the ad always loads first? It does <laughs> load first. Hey, you never know, right? Um, but let's get these bad boys open. What do you think? I think so that's a great idea. I'm gonna set my keyboard and mouse over here, so I probably will stop topping, stop topping, stop typing for a while, and just respond uh, vocally. Um, Let's see. Tell them I owe them a hug. I need this stream. All right, Travis. We'll do that for sure. So what's the odds that mine is actually right side up in this machine? I, I see the box is right side up, but all the shipping labels and everything were on the other side. So oh, well, that's no fun. Jerry, Jerry likes you better. He uh, posted your links in his group. Just so you saw that. <laughs> but he's, but he's watching you, Jerry. on my channel. So I appreciate that, Jerry. <laughs> This, just so you know, this box is huge. The the yeah. work surface that this is on, it kind of goes out this much further, and that's it. So, yeah. so, <laughs> so, just so you have an idea, we got thirty and a half inches by twenty one inches wide on the box, mixed up here. <laughs> that's okay, Jerry. We're just giving you a hard time. Uh, so yeah, this box is massive. Um. Yeah, he's Zolan says, I just thought you were two little people. I tell you what, it's been a long time <laughs> since I've been little. Jim, you need to fix your uh, your caption. What does it say? The edge or tech? Or, well, it's it's both. Yeah, it's the edge or <laughs> today. Or. Did someone call me out on it? Yeah, on, over, on, over on my channel, uh, Nate Fonseca. Nice. Says, the edge or the tech? Edge or Who's tech? the edge? Well, it's both, you know. It's either I'm I'm on the edge or or I'm in tech. And sometimes when I'm at work, it's both. I'm on the edge because I'm on tech. Let's see. There's oh, a lot yeah, of foam in here. I got new seat cushions now. Right. <laughs> there you go, Nate. Oh. Uh, thanks. Thanks for the catch on that one. But which one is bigger, Jim or Brian's? Oh boy, it's not the size; it's how you. We're not. We're it. not getting into that argument. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrestling personality. Oh yeah, I better be careful. I'll get, I'll get copyrighted again. Uh, let's see. I've got euro five euro on fives on Brian's. I don't know what that means. You got five euro, I believe, on Brian Vines for what? To get it done first? Oh, come are on, Tom. Racing? I didn't think we were racing. I didn't think we were either. So it's just a... we're just a... we're like, here's foam. There we go. <laughs> so what this I'm thing probably, is huge. What, what, yeah, I was just going to say, what I'm probably going to do is put this box on the floor and pull stuff out of it. Because let me, uh, let me get this top layer of foam off and then see if I can dump everything out trying to show you what's inside. I think you've got a good idea. Let me move this off to the side. Yeah, let me let me see. Huh. There is the inside of the box. Probably pretty loud in my microphone. That looks remarkably similar. Yeah, very what close. What I've got going on here. <laughs> very close. Because <laughs> my table rolls away from me. This thing is the opposite of light. Yeah, it's very heavy. This thing's a beast. All right, so. I got a spool holder. 
The first thing I threw out, uh oh, I hit a button. First thing you threw out was your back. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The first thing I pulled out, there we go. Full uprights. Watch me throw. <laughs> That's funny. Watch me throw a, a watch me pull a 3D printer out of my hat. It's a race. One, two, three, guess go. I guess I don't know my own strength. Right? I miss Rocky and Bullwinkle. You know, they remade those, or they uh, did a new series of them. They did? Yeah. About a year or two ago. Huh. Crazy. So I got uh, a spool holder. Hey, they're metal. That's nice. I got I to gotta say, I like this anodized blue on here. Yeah, that's sweet it's color. a real pretty color. Jesse Foreman's with us. He used Yeji. I think it's Yeji or Yegi. Uh, Thingiverse is much faster. But if it, if, if it gives any results currently, it would be much faster. So power cord. Um, tell me if you want me to drop that other camera in there too, Brian. And then uh, these are the spool holder. Uh, yeah, but they're painted enough to adjust. <laughs> oh, the spool holder I think you're talking about, Travis. So there's a fancy bag. Let's see. Fancy. Yeah, I want to see what's in that in a minute. If I can get the base of this thing out of here. Uh, ooh, I won't tell you what's in it then. It'll be a surprise. Travis says uh, the, the spool holder is a pain to adjust. I can believe Holy. that. Holy mother of mercy. This thing's packed in here good, I, huh? Yeah. I, I just I just finished that. The struggle is real. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. Okay. Hey, it's, I see Calvin in chat. Hey, Calvin. Hey, Calvin. Hey, Ben. <laughs> ben says Did he's watching on your, on your channel because he has to support his neighbor. I didn't know you were a neighbor. <laughs> He's a uh, he's a fellow near. Texan, right? Where, yes, I don't remember exactly where in Texas. Ben, where are you? We got you're not uh, too far away. Instructions. It looks like how to properly connect the flexible flat cable. The FFC. Just so you know, flexible flat cable. Uh oh, I it's almost got flexible and flat. So this is the base, and it says right on here. Brian has three more thumbs up. What the heck? What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> Anyways, so uh this is the base, and it clearly says do not remove. Let's see if I can show you before before finish. Uh, see, do assembly. not move before finish assembly. So, and that's good advice. Yeah. I, I imagine they don't want people wrecking their bed right away, right? That is probably correct. It's now, glass. the base on this seems a little um, like there could have been an extra bolt or six set of screws or something on there because <laughs> right about the middle of it, it yeah, seems both a little. I just, yeah. I just, I just grabbed a hold of mine right here. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's and where it's doing it on mine. Right here. Yeah, like that. Kind of that's machine gunny. Well, it is artillery. <laughs> Robbie Max says Brian has three thumbs. Yes. One, How old is two, that version? I have no idea. Three. Travis, um, tell me again. You said something about a reset button on the back or something like that. Tell us again, how do I tell what version this is? Because I'm pretty sure it probably doesn't tell us in this documentation, you know. We're hoping for V4s. We're hoping for V4s. Come on, V4s. Is that the good version? I don't... I think it's the current version. Nice. So if mine's from Banggood, it's probably V2. <laughs> it's joking. Thank you, Banggood. I appreciate it. This is the first thing they've ever sent me, so I should be nice. I think, uh, I don't know where Travis went. 
but I have to scroll back up to find uh, to find him. So let's see. There's a whole bunch of different uh, languages that I can't read, but I can look at the pictures. Ha ha. Read me first. Nah. Why not? <laughs> It was me eighty seventh. Yeah, it was the safety stuff, you know. Well, let's see. Oh, WFO rider had to go somewhere. See you later. The um, assembly instructions that I've got. Oh wait, there we go. I've got a, yeah. I've got like a, a quick a quick build yeah. sheet, but it's in German. I was just gonna say that's the one in uh, not English. So, German. everybody out there watching, how you guys doing? Just got home and the power is off with Edison out the front door. Something. That's why WFO Rider had to leave. There's no true uh, version of the community somewhat, or the community somewhat did that. Oh. Calvin said that. Oh, uh, okay. So, here's okay. Uh, the official English instructions. A nice fold-out pamphlet. So I'm uh, I'm assuming inside of our really fancy bag here. Um, all right, Zolan, see you later. Have fun flying. He's going out to fly his drone, I think. Okay. I have a reset button next to my LCD. Next to the LCD, is that what they're saying? Yep. Let me look. So look up there just, just at the bottom right corner of oh, its yeah. screen. Yeah, right there. Let's see if I can, you know what? I know I control that. Give me one second. I'll pop my other camera on so we can show everybody what we're seeing. Camera. All right, so we're going for a ride. Whee! Right there. I think that's what they're saying. So right here. Whoa, jeez. Apparently I'm backwards. There we go. <laughs> Right there. I think that's what they're yeah, talking about as, far as the um, reset button goes. I'm going to say hi to a few folks in chat. Uh, hi, Viking. Hi, Robin Mac. Hi, One Raz. Uh, who else is in here? Hi, WFO Writer and Dan and Banky and Bob Carnes and Mike, Team Orange. And I'm going to say hi to everybody because I don't just single you out. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Hi, everybody. 3D, mis 3D Miss Printer's in the house. Um, <laughs> so I just dumped out my my fancy bag. You know. Yeah. So there's. I believe when I'm nice done using it, there. I, you can put pencils or pens in this now. And then Probably. if you carried this, you could be a genius. Is that kind of interesting that it says genius and not hey. sidewinder? Mine says Sidewinder. Oh, look at yeah. Hey, we found our first variants. Indeed. Sean's One hurt. Raz is asking if I have a cold. I do not have a cold. Oh, Mike, don't tell Jim I'm over here now since I sat down on my Mac. That's okay. You can be over there on your Mac. <laughs> Nothing wrong oh, with Mac. Sean Morrissey says he's hurt, probably because you didn't say hi to him. Hi, Sean. Blasto's in the house. Hey, Blasto. How's that new uh, project working out? I've been, I need to go check out your your uh, Instagram. Who we got? I believe these are a extra a cables, right? Got a, a Ron. A, a in Ron's house. in the house. Andy Outdoor Nerd. <laughs> Apples are for eating. Let me yes. go. Let me go find that stream yard chat. Is there a way to pop the stream yard chat out or no? Uh, I don't I think not. so. It doesn't up. matter. It's, it yeah. just sits there. The problem that I have with the stream yard chat is that the text is about that big. Oh. It's tiny. So you're not looking at it on a, a big screen is what you're saying. Well, I, it is on a big screen, but the big screen is 12 feet away. <laughs> oh. So... Let me just do this. 
This is where I saying he's in Martindale. Ah, it's it's the dizzy cam. <laughs> That's a projector screen. Okay. I uh, I got sick because because uh, I'm in my garage, right? I got sick of uh, of tearing down monitors and putting them back up anytime I need to do some, something else in here. And mm -hmm. uh, so now you're just so, using the wall as a monitor. Yeah, exactly. Now I don't have to. Uh, Blasto's converting a CR10 Mini into an all-in-one. Nice. Brian is ahead still by three thumbs up. Give me a head. Give me those three. All right. Yo, what do we some, got first? Give him some thumbs ups. Slicer preparation. Oh, boy. Let's wait for that. That looks like Cura. It sort probably of, No, it doesn't. I found, does a, a, like I found a Prusa Slicer profile that I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, Banky says, Jim, are I you the guy one of those from, from 3DN or am I wrong? I'm not sure what 3DN is, but if he's cool and you like him and you want to hit subscribe, I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so one sure. of the things that you get in that bag is a spare set of ribbon cables. Yeah, I saw that. That's pretty awesome. My understanding is that the that artillery is treating those ribbon cables as a consumable item. Oh, that's not. They, they will give out eventually, and so you already you start off with a spare set. Well, that's good. Maybe they. Depending on, um, I guess Travis is out there. I don't know who else out in the world has one of these. Um, but if you have one, let, let us know how long you've had it and if your cables are still good. 3D Nexus. I'm not the guy from 3D Nexus. Um, I'm the guy from Edutech. <laughs> but uh, check out, if you're on my channel and you haven't seen Brian's channel, check out his channel. The link is in the description already below. Um, and if you're on his channel, well, yeah, you don't have to go check over and check out. Wait, check out his <laughs> so, over there. Sub C Dub, I like it. Link to his awesome. channel is down in, in the description on my video. So, all right. Never had well, any issues. Should we with actually the, start? Uh, never had any issues with the cables. Depends how you use it. Uh, minus being an idiot and with mine and damaging, they lasted almost indefinitely. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Thank Hello, you. Jay's 3D channel. What's up? What do we got here? Travis says almost a year. Cables are treated right. They last a very long time. He's had his almost a year. Hi, oh, is in the house. Heard MKS on board inside is only 8 bit. Going to replace mine with an SKR14 Turbo and a Big Tree Tech 3.5 dual purpose screen to get both TFT and LCD. Modeling code. Nice. So uh, cool. I have some fun stuff coming. Steven's in the house. He says he has the best one. So let's let's see it, Steven. Bring it on. <laughs> um, Hello, Steven. So I have some fun stuff coming. So stay tuned for some fun videos. But I think we need to get building, right? I mean, we've been talking. Oh, so, yeah. Let's see. Where we got? We got a little baggie of screws. Clamp or glue the ribbon. Yeah, looks, like, looks like step one is, is, uh, is put the printer together. Yeah, yeah. I like it's it. already pretty much all built. <laughs> Step one, do not lose all the stuff you just dumped on the table. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did, did you find that washer you were looking for earlier? I did. It was on the part that I was planning on installing it on, <laughs> which was kind of handy because that's where it was going to go. So this, I believe, goes down like this. And... Yep. Just chills out. I like I am, it. Speaking of washers, I'm putting the lock washers on the yeah. M4 by 45 volts first. And there is uh, four. No, there's actually more than that of these. There's the, But a five of them, it looks like. Okay. My, one of them just rolled underneath it. So there you go. Uh, I thought about that, Ohio. So I have, um, I'm going to check it out. So I think you can tell us in the chat if you have one on both channels, but I think it's kind of a uh, love-hate with the touchscreen on these, right? I think people either love them or they hate them. Mine bit me. 
Put put parts on slap mat. Wham. Nice. Yours bit like you. My slap mat. Yes, yeah, it did. I'm trying to get the the gantry lined up and and in the uh, uh oh in the little slots for it. I love my genius. Nice. Uh, uh, I'm gonna attempt to flip this thing sideways now because that'll be fun, or at least kinda sideways. Screw it. I'm going for there it. There we go. Not saying do this it, is the it. way. Do it now. I'm not saying this is the way, people, but this is, you know what? I probably should way. have a, uh, I probably should have a screwdriver or something of variance yeah. to put this together, huh? Preload pre your Allen key. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, it's not bad, it does what it needs to do. Okay, cool. I know some people don't like them. I know. Um, what is it? TH3D sells a kit to get rid of them. Um, to get rid of what? What was that? To get rid of what? The uh, touchscreen. Oh. Some people. Well, yeah, but Tim doesn't like touchscreens. He likes all the control that you get with the uh, rotary knob on a standard Mario right. install. That is a true story. So that's interesting. Hmm. I'm looking at this. I dropped it in here. I wonder if it's not happy because I just laid it on its side. Oh, are you having the issue that I just had where um, it's not spread quite far enough apart to... Yeah. To it was, yeah. And I don't want it to... That's when me. I got bit. I learned that from you. There we go. Nailed it. Yes. My life is a cautionary tale. <laughs> Don't do it, Brian. Did. Yeah. For goodness sake. What was that? I said, don't do what Brian does, for goodness sakes. Yeah. Zolan says he hates touch screens or they hate him. Um, I touch them, they do nothing. <laughs> kind of like my oh, I can't respond. <laughs> I almost <laughs> said that. I almost just said that out loud. Don't say that out loud. That was, that was almost awesome. So what I'm doing is I'm, I am I uh, am putting these M4 by 45s in, but I'm not putting them in tight yet. I'm waiting until I get them all four in. Yep. And then I'm going to tighten them up. Just like our Ender 3s, right? Mm-hmm. Or really anything that you like want. Pretty to much do. anything made out of aluminum extrusions, right? Yeah. And uh, I always preach to... If you're gonna do the tight, the actual tightening part to use the short end, <laughs> it's way too easy to strip the long end of an Allen wrench, uh, especially the ones we get in these printers. Yeah. Yeah, I almost got put in YouTube jail, Dan. I almost repeated what Dan said out loud, and then I realized I shouldn't. Um. As I'm tightening this. Fine. Uh, Travis, that is a great idea. I usually do that with my Ender 3s. I screwed them, I screwed them over to the end of the table. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I like uh, that Zolan. That sounds like a good plan. If you guys had the same shirt on, you could do split screen with just shirt. Uh, let's see, with the shirt, just be perfect between the two screens. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Have you tried the Lote Max SC10 Ender 3 Killer? <laughs> Is it an Ender 3 Killer, really? I don't know. But I can tell you with 100% certainty, there's one sitting right here in a box. So I haven't tried it yet, no. So it's not going to kill anything until it comes out of the box. <laughs> yes, uh... Someone says I need a much more steady table. That is a true story. So I usually don't build on this table. Um, I just moved it over for this stream and thought, why not? We're using it. And I'm using it. It is definitely wobbly. You don't have locking casters on it? <laughs> it it wouldn't matter. It's not the casters that's wobbly. It's the, the tiny <laughs> legs that it has. Spindly little chicken legs. Yeah. 
Brian enjoys our streams on occasion, Dan said. Nice. Yes. See you later, Zolan. Have fun with those uh, packs if you're going to fly. Can you do battery packs? Yeah, it sounds like he's going to fly uh, his his drone. I thought he was a little while ago, but he's anything in a long time. What? Said I have not flown anything in a long time. I should. Uh, so the problem is for me, I got a laser. So I'm addicted to it now. Uprights on, uprights tightened for my yes. side. Good. Yep, same here. All right. Now at some point, I think are we going like to need to somehow tension the belt on the on the Z lead screws? Because that seems real loose. Um, oh, I think all the belts like, are going to be loose. From the videos I watched uh, earlier today from uh, some other people, all the belts are loose. Put the laser on the drone. I like it. Check if your glass bed is flat. Mine had a dip in the middle. Not cool. All right. Where are your engineers? Squares? Something else that I've heard to be aware of is this glass bed doesn't have any aluminum base under it. It's the glass bed. Oh, and really? The heater is glued to it. And so there's like some, uh, the, the edge of the, the underlying insulation on mm -hmm. the bed heater is sharp. So be careful not to drag your fingers under uh, here. You might get cut. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I would have cut myself immediately. So step tools, step two says fix the step tools. Tool. <laughs> step tool. Uh, it's the, the fix spool the spool holder. holder. Well, I didn't know it was broken, but okay, I'll see yeah. if I can fix it. It says fix the spool holder to the top of the printer. Adjust the width to fit a size of filament spool. What? It's not self-adjusting. Just joking. So uh, for me, today, one thing I like about this is the the um, filament runout sensor is on like a little gimbal-y thing. Yeah, that so is it can awesome. move. It moves and it's attached solid to that to that um, spool holder. So I'm not sure which filament you're going to use for testing on this bad boy, but today uh, on this one, I'm going to use some Arion. There it is. Let's see if you can see Arion there. And uh, it is orange, about as orange as it gets, probably, well, maybe not as orange as it gets, but it's dang orange. You know, if you're going to go team orange, I'll go team orange. Yeah, Arion orange. I have. And uh, I'm going to use this. Uh, Arion sent this to me. Thank you guys very much for sending it to me. I told him, I told them my next printer, I will use this for their, for the, stuff I print. So everything you guys see come off this printer in the beginning is going to be Arion orange. I know uh, people go both ways on Arion. We've had some really good stuff. We've had some not so good stuff, but um, hopefully you guys have had great luck with them. Yeah. And I will be using some 3D fuel. I'm also going orange like you. Nice. And 3D fuel was kind enough to send this to me after I paid them. <laughs> Ouch. All right. Um, oh, I see. That's how it works with most of my film. When I pay for it and then they send it to me. There you go. Hey, does your, uh, unless I'm crazy here, it could be. Did your spool holder I have am. Had two bolts in it or just one? Uh, two bolts in it. Well, yeah, my, I got my, the. My spool holder had a bolt in the back of it, like where it actually bolts in. Did it? But I only have oh, one. No. Um, well, so I've got um, I've got five of these little M4 type screws that are going to go in here. I've got one small M3 type screw. Huh. Now, there are I some wonder. captive. T nuts through here. Yeah, there's. I see the. T -nuts. I'm gonna have to make sure I get these. But I don't see any other uh, bolts. I only mine were actually in the back of my spool holder, and I only see one. Huh. That's not. Uh oh. Awesome. Yeah. So I see how they go on. That's kind of cool. 
Someone might be blowing me up here. So I wonder if they're down in the box still. I would check. Just on the off chance that um, they fell out and they're rolling around in there. Right. They are black, so they'll match the, the foam. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. They sure pack these things good. Mike is saying I only got half a spool of the uh, 3D fuel. I've used most of it. It was a full spool. And I've got one other spool of it as well. It was their, um, their they had like a fall orange color that was a limited edition that I bought around the end of last year. Let's see. Like the pumpkin yeah. spice. Let's see. Uh, what are you? Let's see the little screws here, what they're looking for. I'm assuming it's, they're, they're little black, like. Yeah. yeah, switch cameras on me and I'll pull this up close. So yeah, I, I only have one. I'm gonna lift this thing up and maybe it's, um, let me do this. Ta -da. Yep, that's them. Uh, weird. Better add your other camera in. I probably don't have sound, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, I've got the audio turned off on the other one. Yeah, so um, interesting. I so far only see one. It was in the back of this spool holder. Did yours come in your plastic? Yeah, mine came in the plastic bag with the Allen keys. Yeah. Nope. Uh, definitely not here. Well, do you yeah. have a spare set of screws somewhere you can oh, use? Oh, yeah, definitely. But I'm just curious. Man, this thing kind is... Kind of a bummer that they weren't in there. Yeah, it's weird. I'm a, I'll am gonna. i dump out that box later. But what I think is weird is that they were actually on it. I wonder if they were testing the printer. I'm just throwing it out there. I have no idea. Uh, maybe they were testing the printer and... Uh, they left them on the, the back of the spool holders. I don't know. It would be nice if they were here, but that's why we have extra parts, right? Yep. You know what else would be nice? If instead of these being, <laughs> instead of these being, uh, where you have to use an Allen key to loosen them if they had like some thumb screws instead. Yeah. At least for the one awesome. side that needs to be adjusted if you're going to be adjusting it frequently. Right. That would be handy. Huh. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll keep looking around. Maybe they're somewhere. <laughs> Did you get yours on? Yep. Let's get it on. Oh, wait. We're going to get believe, shut down for that. Uh, I believe it goes spool holder. Let me look here. Just so I know. Filament holder. It rolls oh, easily. So filament holder on the front goes on your... On your... Uh, inside... Where's your? Where's yours at? What? Your, your filament runout sensor. It's on the front. Which side? It has to be because the... Huh? No, which side on the front? It's, it's to my... Here. If you're facing it, it's on your right? Yeah. From from okay. the back, looking forward, it's on the right. Okay. Just making sure. So I'm looking... I probably haven't looked at chat. Um, anyways, Brian's audio is out of sync. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think so. Anyways. Maybe it is. Um... Let's see, which size do we got? Probably these. Yeah, I'll keep looking. It'll be cool. I'll have I'll have some nice ch chrome uh, <laughs> chrome bolts. Chrome now. screws, but you won't see them because they'll be on the back. Right. It's custom now. I can officially say. 
you've already modified your printer. You're not going to use it stock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, if whoever had the bet on Jim modifies first one. Is that was that like a an was there an over under on that? Uh, the sticker on the Z stepper motor is a serial number. Don't rip it off. You'll need it for warranty claims. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> the one that says QC passed. I guess so. Print the rollers out much easier to move ever. Uh, every time if you print them out, um, they're saying. Okay. So there must be something cool out there you can print, and it fixes the this. The sticker, oh, got that. You know, what else you, you know what else you can do? You can get, get a something. standard Ender 3 spool holder and bolt that on there. You could do that, yeah. But then, I mean, like, what that kind of defeats the purpose of them being able to move. I, I kind of, I'm kind of, why, why do we need them to move? That's my question. Oh, for different, size, for different size spools. Yeah, different widths. Got it. Mm -hmm. Took me a minute. Whereas if they had just made it kind of wide and actually had two rollers all the way across. Right. Ooh, look that at that would orange. That be an issue. And it was all orange. It's rich in orange goodness. Yeah. So this bag of spares, I see a uh, spare bit of PTFE tube, a spare um, RGB LED, two spare wheels, and a nice long nozzle. So this has a volcano style hot end, does it not? Good job with the style, yeah. Um, yeah. I believe so. <laughs> Volcano esque, I, right? I want to throw this out. This this like fifteen dollar box of uh, um, nuts and screws just saved us right here. Saved me at least. So awesome. if you're out there and you don't have a small box like this M three M uh, what do we, what do we got here? I can't remember on this one. M three M four M five. And you know you get in a variety of links and, and an some awesome nuts. amount of yeah you get a ton in there. And it's Amazon. And those are, those like, are about 13, 13 bucks or so. Yeah, something like that. I want to say somewhere between thirteen and fifteen bucks is all those are. And I'm, those I'm are assuming super we handy both, to have. I'm assuming we both have them in our Amazon stores. I think so. Yeah. See. So if you're watching the stream on either chat, and you go to our Amazon stores, which I'm assuming is probably in both of our uh, descriptions already then yep yep there you go what time we got 745 what connect the filament run out sensor as shown next next did you already do that part yep i plugged mine in i got oh, mine plugged in behind someone has i think tom said he was he was counting on us racing and and it, at, this racer. Point, <laughs> at this point you're winning i mean Interesting. Old curmudgeon <laughs> says he uses M3s more than anything, and I do too. Yeah. And the other here. fun thing about getting those little assortment kits is that you can use those to find out what you need to buy a lot more of. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so when you run out of M3 by tens, you know that you use a lot of M3 by tens, and then you can just order yourself a hundred count of M3 by tens. Right. I'm gonna uh, change my camera real quick here. And give you guys a shaky look at um, it's the wobble cam. Wobble baby, wobble baby, wobble. Oh, hey, hang on, here you go. Oh yeah, <laughs> rock and roll. So this, let's see if it'll focus. Maybe this is our next step. A step four: Z end stop to the cable. That's not the ZN stop, but ZN stop is probably. I thought we could see it over there. What the? Yeah. Because this is your motor cable, right? This must be the ZN stop mm -hmm. cable. Yep. And it goes down into there, right? I do kind of like. That. I don't really think it matters what order you plug them in. No, I was just, you know, going through the. Uh, the good old 
The destructions. The destruction. Read our uh read the manual. We'll just say that. <laughs> read the fine manual. RTF. There you go. It's a lot of um get my sidewinder to print here. Someone says can't get the sidewinder to print as good as the CR10. Well, what the heck? And we'll do this one. Let me know if you want me to switch your uh, camera there. Well, we or can. add it in. I can add it in if you this want. This is just kind of boring, though. I'm just plugging in, yeah, plugging in connectors. We can't, we can't see it anywhere. We see it over the printer, but that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's normal? We usually are like this, right? We're usually like wi all widescreen and stuff. Yeah, we we're, we're, we're like all wide. We're kind of staying in the middle of our frames. Mm -hmm. In my case, that's pretty much the whole frame. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, these little bits of tape. I'm really, I'm really oh, excited actually about this printer. I'm really excited. I am too. Uh, it's got heard, the it's Steven, the better kind, the better kind of glass bed. Even the light speed said he has the best one or the best one. Uh, let's what see. What is best about it? Enlighten me. Dan, uh, Dan just said, "Made you look." He chatted me. I thought it was Steven sending me pictures. See, Dan, you got me. Nice work. <laughs> All right. Where we got? Go. <laughs> oh, that's the remember other. That Z. Read, remember that? Read the manual part. So I got both sides of my gantry here done. Now it says. Um, Apparently, we have to put the, oh, it's on that side, maybe? Yeah, it's on this side. Let me get you over here, y'all. Maybe push this back carefully. All right. I'm going to get everybody sick with all these uh, yeah. motion. So I believe the next thing it's it says to do is, to uh, connect the X carriage and filament runoff sensor um, as shown in the picture. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's the ribbon cables. Yeah. Please handle the flexible cable with care. Do not that break. That's good advice. No, do not. No breaky. So I'm just taking some tape off. Missing the cables. Taking tape off so I can uh, get to other cables here, and you guys can't see a thing I'm doing. Yep. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going back. I'm going back. Read the. Right. So I think I'm gonna cut my zip ties off of here. Yeah. Any objections? You do it. Chat. He's doing it. Do it. Anybody Someone saying said, not to? Um, I don't know. What What was the? You said <laughs> suggestions from chat. Well, just asking if anybody's not wanting me to cut my my zip ties off of here. Oh. Three, two, one. Right. Uh, there's one. <laughs> Rebel. Rebel. It you know what? I didn't you are see out that. of order. Have you seen that? I didn't what? see that instruction anywhere yet. No, you know have a hard time here. printing if you leave them on, though. Nowhere in here. Don't cut your ribbon cables off. You're going to have a bad yeah. time. Right. True story on that. Um, nope. I don't see it anywhere, but I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Brian did it. I did it. I mean, of course, if you do it, I got to. Holy heck, it's hot out. 113. Real feel, 117. Yes, you're right. That is hot. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the oven. <laughs> um, so why is your why is your Sidewinder not printing as good as your CR10? What's Why not? What's going on with it? Hey. 
Okay, are there any tips for installing the ribbon cable? Yes. Um, don't break it. Apart from please handle with care. Yeah, it says <laughs> handle flexible ca with care. Make sure it goes in straight and make sure they're sitting flush. So I'm assuming it goes in this way, right? Well, we're both computer guys. We've dealt with these cables and connectors before. Right. Oh, that went That's in easy. In. That went in good. Yeah. I don't. I didn't try the other side yet. How do? In the chat, uh, let's see. Hands of rocks, I think it is. Or there you go. Uh, we just can't get the same quality. Hmm. Well, we should. We should probably work on that. Where is this at? Oh, there it is. It's taped. It's behind there. Mm -hmm. Did you raise yours? I need to raise it up a little bit. I'm doing it right now. Probably getting it all out of sync. No, I'm watching. And even though that Z belt is loose, it's tight enough right. that it'll, it'll pull them both up. Now, it, uh, there's a little bit of slop. Ben E. Brady said, I believe on your chat, shaving my head would be more exciting. I believe you should grab a camera and let's do this. Uh, we, we would like to see this. I'm in. How about you? Ben? Well, he wants to shave his head. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah. shaving his head would be more exciting. That's what I'm saying. I need a haircut, but <laughs> I think we can, you know what? I think that, we could get that's the chat something going. That I think we could, um, I think we could get the chat going and raise money to see this happen. <laughs> I, uh, no. So that went in, <laughs> that went in okay. Um, tried a lot of different things. His old CR 10 just kills. Nice. Klutzy Mender. Hey there. Now this cable on the um, on the left side gantry, shave it with a clamshell. A little <laughs> nice. I got it in there. Tough. You flip it. Uh, you flip it around so the blue pull tab. You know, is you, you see that, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just that it kind of had a sharp fold in it. And then there's one other cable over here that looks like it wants to get plugged in and it's trapped so and crushed. Step eight, trapped, step and, eight. trapped and crushed under uh -oh. my motor. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I had to raise mine. I have to I have to loosen the Z on the left oh, side no. so I can oh. rescue that connector, which is crushed. It's trapped and it. crushed. Yes. It's trapped under the debris. Nice. See, now it's getting exciting. Yeah, it's getting, we got something trapped under the debris. So step eight, uh, four wheels under the build plate, push the wheels on the non-eccentric nut side tight against the aluminum extrusion, then adjust, and, uh, then adjust the front and rear wheels by turning the eccentric nuts. Interesting. So um, step eight also says, tension all the wheels on the machine, turn the wheels without forcing them. If it turns freely uh, or without effort, then it's too loose. Tighten the wheels, um, rotate the eccentric nuts, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's how we do it. Now I will say that the wrench that they provided yeah, for just accomplishing that. that task is the nicest wrench that I have yet gotten in a 3D printer. That uh, is... That's pretty, pretty dang nice, yes. I mean, in a 3D printer. Klutzy Mender, yeah. Uh, if it is the plastic extruder on the Ender 3, and you said your gear's spinning, but the filament's not coming out of the nozzle, I would check that the little... Uh, I can't show you because I don't have one real close. The little squeeze arm that you can squeeze is tight enough, and then if you look up underneath that squeeze arm, if I could show that, up underneath, make sure it's not cracked. A lot of times those things crack, and you can't get the tension because they're broken. 
So, hey, okay, look, I got my I got my connector rescued and plugged in, and it my, occurred to me after the fact that I was making a horrible strategic error. Uh oh. When I was tipping the printer with the filament spool on that spool uh, holder, it remarkably did not it go flying. It didn't go flying. It held on. People it held on people with the printer at a 45 degree angle. People are watching uh, the stream because of that. They, they were like, there it goes. There it goes. So my eccentric, now this is not funny. My eccentric nuts aren't too the, bad. The eccentric, I, note, the eccentric nut on this side right? is freewheeling. Freewheeling? So I got to tighten that one up. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I it see is it now. Freewheeling. So is, uh, both of mine are on that, on the, there we go. Let's see. Free. Free wheeling. Oh, there we go. Too much. I think it might, that's better. That one's okay. So right now we're just tightening eccentric. This is really riveting right here. Actually, no, it's very eccentric. No, there's no rivets. There are no <laughs> rivets. <laughs> it's riveting -less, rivetless. There we go. I don't know if Ben's with us. Did he shave his head yet? I'm, I'm serious. We want to see this. Ben, if you're still here, I'm sorry that I'm boring. <laughs> this is why um, I make edited videos. <laughs> you're not sorry. You're not sorry that I'm boring. Nah, I'm having fun. I'm building a, a new printer. I mean, now if it oh, just man. auto level, that would be great. My bed is not the the, the eccentric oh. nut on the X carriage is wobbly, wobbly. Check it is out. It? I don't know if you can see how wobbly that is. Oh yeah, see how it's... wobbly. Really? Oh yeah, yours. Yeah. Mine came real. Mine came really yeah. good. All of mine are, are at least tight. It might be a little too tight, but I. Well, can they go tightened back. it up. Yeah. They tightened it up, but they did it in exchange for those four bolts. Got you're it. Missing from your spool holder. <laughs> That's probably true. Drat. My my uh, unless it slowed down here, my. <laughs> the, the, the peeps watching on my side have stopped typing. Llama said, "Real wrench, not stupid stamp sheet metal wrench." Oh, there's tra there's Travis. If you print on that table, hold on to it. Test print goes fast. Oh, does it? That's good to know because we were debating. We were talking about that. Yeah, we were talking well, about. We'll do the test print to start right. So let me see. After we get all the eccentric nuts tightened or loosened or whatever we need to do, step nine, connect the power. Ooh, I have the power. I was thinking more like C, CNC Music Factory or no. Well, that'd be something that makes you go, hmm. <laughs> Bobby Mac. See how it is, Robbie Mac. Into his house. <laughs> so that's right, interesting that everything's right on this glass. I'm not a fan of glass. Yeah, I, like, I like my flex plates myself, but yeah, it is what it is. If, if it has to be glass, though, I, I prefer it with that texture. Right. That is true. Because then it's I'm like not having a glob glue. It's all ultra base like, right? Yes, ultra base esque. Ask. <laughs> so here, this is this is for you guys. Here you go. That's for you. Yep. You're not going to do the background music from your hot or not before the <laughs> water gets dumped on the fire. What? <laughs> Like that. That's the music. That's what you needed. It will stick <laughs> like no other. Put some glue down to release. Thank you for I'm that. 
I think what I'll probably there. use is uh, some Nano Palmer from Vision Miner because I love that stuff. I think Joel about Around putting here and them out of business. How so? Any uh, any Just idea? How to start a ton of it? Any idea how to start a business with three D printing? Yes, start printing and selling them everything you can to your friends and family, and then go from there. Uh oh! If you are printing I, models that you find on Thingiverse, make sure you yeah. have permission from the people that yes, created it. Yes, absolutely. Permission is key. <laughs> Travis says, took me an hour. A little bit so I can see it. Okay, I was afraid it was going to break the bed. Oh, crap. So, do we need to? Let me just look at this. Oh, the okay. bed on this is kind of wobbly. It does say level it. I was going to say it better. It better say yours. Your bed is wobbly. Yeah, the bed's wobbly. I need to tighten it up. Mine is. Mine was uh, very tight. See what they did was they went through and tuned mine, and they give me a genius bag. <laughs> What I think I got is a like a, a redo printer because uh, I got a different bag. All my stuff is already tight. It's pretty funny. Wow, those really eccentric like, nuts are way oh, in there right. too. He's still adjusting his stuff. Lindsay just came in and said, "Who's winning?" <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. Is he sleeping? Yeah. What? Nice. You need something? Okay. Oh, hi. Do you see I put the ladder right there for you? Okay. Everybody else, say hi to Lindsay. She's right over here. <laughs> okay. Well, I got a whole bunch of extra crap. There we go. Do you have a That's whole bunch better. of extra crap? Um. Let's see. What have I got left over from like, this? I've got... I have a little tiny I got baby. Uh, three screws left over. Yeah, one very tiny, one medium, and one large. Yep, I've got a T nut. Yeah, got it. Uh, I've got I've got the wrenches. Um, you know what we didn't get? We didn't get a flush cutter. Yeah, I see that. Unless it's hiding in the box. Somewhere. First time I've. Mm. I, I got. I have. I have four washers. Do you have four washers? Well, I did, but I put them on the bolts that I <laughs> used to attach the gantry. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I put the lock washers on, but, but I didn't put the real washers on. Oh, no, that's all I had was lock washers. I didn't have real washers. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that, that makes me feel a little bit better. I just lost one of those. It's gone forever. Oh, wait, I see it. There it is. I'm going to put these extra screws back in this little yeah. spare parts bag. So you didn't have... These little, uh, these little guys. Nope. Just the ones I had had the little. They got yeah. a little okay. Notch cut yeah. I don't feel so bad now. I think uh, put Travis yours together. There was a genius. Yeah, there was a genius. <laughs> uh, I think Travis has it right. Throw it all back in the bag. <laughs> uh, let's see. The low max took ten minutes. This probably would have been about ten or fifteen minutes if. Uh, we wouldn't be if talking. we weren't talking all the time. Yeah, yeah. We, if this we is, were this would be a super super fast build. That's right. Yeah, I would uh, um, sell to your friends and family. Get permission from the artists, of course. Um, otherwise, design. If you design anything, um, then if you design it, you can sell whatever you want. You don't have to get permission because you did it yourself, right? Um, That's exactly right. What else? I would. What's hilarious, not to go off track, is that you didn't get the washers and I didn't get bolts. So <laughs> there's that. Between the so, two of us, we can probably get something put together. It is actually uh, a full USB and a micro slot. Mm -hmm. in my, that's pretty awesome. So my printer is currently on, I guess, now that I look over the top here. Yeah, mine is. It made it made a beep when I turned it on. Yeah. Um, 
I've got my leveling tool. Nice. Your paper. <laughs> That's the one. So it looks like we go to tools, uh, heat to preheat nozzle and bed. Okay. Now uh, let's go well, see. I'll preheat the bed. I'll preheat the bed for, uh, um, there we go. Uh, preheat that to get it up to temperature, 60 degrees. Oh, I see. You touched the extruder button. And it turns into the bed button. Yeah. Let's see. Extruder. What do you, I'm going to hit, uh, let's do. I'm leaving two. the extruder cold. Oh, you are? Yeah. I so, When I level, I heat the bed, but I leave the extruder cold. Usually because if I'm leveling, I've probably got filament in there and then it just gets in the way. Ah, nice. See, I always heat everything up to get the maximum uh, uh, to get the maximum expansion. You know, hey, do you know what the little button is, Travis? Next to the extruder button, it looks like a little. Uh, it says one C, five C. Oh, that's that changes the increment for um, for the plus and minus. Oh, nice. Got it. I like it. So whereas, yeah, whereas you would normally go through and, and just spin the knob really, really fast on like an Ender 3. Right. Here you can you can say I want to move by 10. So, and just so you know, the close button actually shuts the temperatures off. Yes, it does. It doesn't <laughs> close anything. You have to use it back to get back to where you want it to be. I found so I that out have, just a second ago. I can confirm. I do have uh, heat on the bed, and I do have heat in the nozzle. Jerry says something about eNotepad, a Sunlu company just PM'd uh, some Am some company on Amazon selling knockoff, saying it's Sunlu filament. Hmm, interesting. That's interesting because I have two rolls of E-Note pad filament right down here that I just got sent to me, a black and a white roll. And that is going to be on, one of those rolls will be on the next printer I do. So mine's heating up. You're going to clean the, uh, you so. know, so mine's 210 out of 210 and 60 out of 60. That was pretty quick. Pretty quick. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. it's a 110 volt bed too, right? So that's this is heat gold up right now. Gold right now, my uh, isopropyl. You know, I got uh, four liters of this that I bought. Cost me only fifty bucks. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> fifty bucks for four liter. What is this world coming to, huh? I know, man. It's crazy. I've sold some guitar bodies thinking of doing it as a business. Nice. Yeah, if you if you uh if you designed them, awesome. If you're if you're printing them with permission and selling them, awesome. But guitar bodies are great. Hey, did you get the stickers off yours? I took the stickers off and then I cleaned the the yellow nicotine residue off the bed. Yeah, it was just <laughs> the nicotine residue. I like it. <laughs> well, I probably should have taken the stickers off before I heated it up, but that's why we have isopropyl, right? Yep. Yeah, I, I noticed the stickers after I started heating mine. They just so. need to go out. All right, Travis. Yeah, there's definitely some yellow residue. It's always like that. Some people were saying that stuff does not stick to their Ender 3 V2 glass bed, and I, I suggest you definitely clean it because I can't get stuff off mm -hmm. that bed. Here is why. Yeah. Let's see if I can... Let's see. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah, it, that yellow all, shows up. The yellow stuff. When I wipe this to change bed, that diaper. Yeah. <laughs> done enough of that lately. Uh, <laughs> when, when, when I wipe this bed, all that stuff comes off of it. And you got to get that wiped out down real good. Otherwise, it nothing's ever going to stick to it. And look at this. That was the third wipe. Still coming off. So we're going to pretend it's off now. 
You have your leveling material. Oh, a, yeah, there is a dedicated level icon, which is handy. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so I don't know if it auto homes when you start doing this. I'm going to pick um, oh, wait, wait, left, wait, wait, wait. which is actually you know fourth position. Huh? Where is timeout? 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 Where is our Z end stop? Oh, okay, it's already mounted. Whew. I was like, I yeah, remember. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's mounted and it's inductive. So it's like a little Tinder probe, kind of. Um, so what do we go to uh, more? Oh, level. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah, there's a, there's a dedicated button for it. Okay. Here we go. It's very quiet. The Please motion is very quiet. Yeah. This is this is where it gets riveting, folks. Ooh. You know what I didn't do? Let me check something. I don't know where my wheels are. Huh. Usually I bring they're, my wheels. They're in up. there. Yeah, they're definitely in there. So this this is where uh, you know yeah. we get real interesting now. <laughs> So now it's a race to print to get the printer going, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who's leveling will reign supreme. <laughs> yeah. I might get there first, but yours might stick. <laughs> nice. He designed a couple types, used them myself. Nice. Oh man, these these kind of aren't my favorite to get to. Yeah, yeah, Nate. It does not have H. It does not have ABL. It has HBL. Human bed leveling. <laughs> right. So then we go to the third button. This thing's a rocking. How's everybody else out there doing? What are you guys up to tonight? Besides watching a couple of Yahoo's put together some Sidewonder X1s and try to get them to print before we have to uh, go take care of kids family. to bed. Yeah. Like, it's funny to say, but true. Travis is back. Ah, leveling. Yes. I, uh, I'm willing to bet that I have a easy ABL on this thing. Very soon. <laughs> hey, Tim, if you're watching. <laughs> It'll be here tomorrow, actually. <laughs> I talked to Tim. Oh, would you pre-order it? I talked to Tim on Tuesday, and he should have, um, he's hoping to have the kits and the instructions ready by the weekend, or at least the instructions ready by the weekend. Mm -hmm. So that'll be good. I think you have to extend some cables and stuff like that, maybe. So how many times do you usually go around? Uh, as many as it takes. Good answer. Until it gets close enough. It's all, it's all tight in the center. Now it's too tight on the left front. Jerry says, stock bed on Ender 3v2 is awesome. It is. Um, it is pretty awesome. It, uh, I, I prefer, oh, I got prints on there. I'd pull it off myself. I, I really like the flex plates. So I usually strip everything and go to those. Yeah. I'm a flex plate fan. You're what? I said, I am a flex plate fan. Yes. They're so easy. Actually, uh, so much so that I have a couple of, uh, a couple of them for my resin printers that I need to put on from... Uh, oh, you got the new Wham Bam ones? From Peter at Wham Bam. I've had them for a while. I just haven't got them on because uh, life happened and I didn't get them on. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I Everybody, so far, I, I believe they're liking them a lot. Everything I've seen has been great on them. And I, I, I just love mm -hmm. the idea on resin especially. Um yeah, I've, the, I've seen people trying to get stuff off of those plates. And the flex plate just makes total sense. Yeah. Travis says, 
Um, no ABL on mine. I've only had to level it once, and it gets pr great prints still. What is going on here? There we go. All right, I think I got it. Woo! One level to rule them all. Good. Not good. Not good. <laughs> Too much. Another thing to remember is you just barely have to turn these sometimes to get them where you want, yeah. you know. Some people overturn yeah, them. That's the thing is, as you go, your adjustments can be smaller and smaller. That's right. And I, uh, myself, I prefer to keep paper underneath mine at all times. Because yeah, I'm me too. So it doesn't drag across the surface. Exactly. 3D Mist Printer says flex plate fan as well. Just got my first resin printer. After a few prints, I already want to buy the flex plate. Amen, right? So I have, um, I believe, two two sets of them for a couple different printers. But um, er, like I said, everything I saw was really not really good. I think uh, Uncle Jesse did a really good review. There's a bunch of really good reviews out there. Whew. Man, just just barely now. I'm almost there. And and people out there like. Yeah. Some people do this really, really fast. Some people do it very quick. Um, I'm about ready to call it for a second. <laughs> but I think it's good enough. I think you're right. I think on mine, I'm, I'm good enough. I'm just being picky now. Yeah, we're I good there. I think we'll get a good print on this. We're good there. So my question is, how do I know that the... The gantry is level. So because we, we cut those zip ties. I'm, I'm just assuming. Them. You what? I said, I'm just assuming. I'm trusting that they did it at the factory. It doesn't seem like it would have come out of sync from right. when it was put together. That's true. Because the belt is keeping the two Z motors synchronized. All right, so I'm going to turn this towards me because um, I can't see <laughs> just temporarily until I get the filament ran. Thanks, Reality. Again, I'm using uh, Arion Orange, courtesy of Arion folks. Thank you guys so much for this filament. Uh, when I get done here, there will be a uh, link in the description. Also, there's a link in, if you go to my uh, um, Amazon store, Brian has an Amazon store as well. Uh, if you go to my Amazon store, uh, we, we both have filament, I believe, in our store. So run it all the way to the top and measure against the rail. That's what I do with my Ender 3s. Take that top belt off. It causes Z-banding. There he is. Whoa. Did you see that? Oh, you know, I guess it would work better if I put the filament through the filament sensor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holy man, that was easy. You, you think that makes it work better? I think so, yeah. That's not bad. I like that it's kind of on that swivel. Move. I want to go up. No, yeah, I want to go mine up. up about 40 or 50. Now, I don't like touching this thing a thousand times. I'm not a fan of that. I'm, I'm just like... I put in orange and get out black. Oh. Orange is the new black, you know. Obviously. <laughs> and this extruder changes orange filament into black filament. <laughs> it's magic. Uh, mine was white, I think. Was it? I think so. All right. So mine's officially fed. I'm going to turn it back towards... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. Nah, I'll turn it back towards the camera. Oh, this thing is a beast. This thing is huge, by it the is. way. It is. It uh, is. If anyone out there is watching... Over to my other camera. 
if you would please. Uh, yeah. You said switch over? Yeah. Let's do it. Since I'm sitting down now. Um, there we go. You got all three there, right? Yeah. Nice. Should we do? Let's see. I'll just leave mine. What, which one are you going to do? Did you get your, did you get your uh, jump drive in, your flash drive? I'm about to. So someone said the tests are very fast. Which one is very fast? <laughs> Arian don't the like fastest? the BB3D. That is a true story. That, that is correct. <laughs> we, we have a slight history. People say they're good I for cost. Micrometer as a result of that. Right. <laughs> um, back. Print. Go into the file. Um, I think I only have like a cube, it looks like. There's only a cube on mine. I don't know about yours. I don't have a print menu. Uh, I'm, in a, I'm in a tools menu, that's why. There we go. Yeah. Found it. Go into so, the USB. Uh, There's a cube. I will print the cube. Yeah, me too. I will confirm that I want to print the cube. Oh, got a blue LED. So do now, I. I remember that we can change that LED color, I think. I RGB. believe so. I believe it is. Oh, I like blue. I, I like blue. It matches the rest of it. So the question is. Does it stick? <laughs> We're going to find, find out, out, right? Dun, dun, dun. Wow, my, my uh, doing this, this, this three thing here. Let me just do this. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, now we got a little more, Brian, a little more of a shop. <laughs> we did, we, we, we both wiped the yellow crap off. I actually showed it. <laughs> That is scary. <laughs> All right. That was so what's it. What's it doing? Print is over. All done. That was fast. Where'd it go? <laughs> uh, it says it's counting down. There, oh, Jesus. Yeah, mine just did that. Well, yours is actually moving and printing. Oh, there you go. Ha! Whoa. <laughs> the question is. Oh yeah, actually that looks good. Here, let me uh, let me pop a camera over here for the heck of it. Yeah, I think I will do the my same real, for my other camera. It's real, my real fancy. Uh, this is going to be my re my really fancy camera holder. It's a box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. If I do this, sorry, yeah. anybody to see. I don't know. I I'm not watching. I uh, probably I'm missing missing. people dizzy on my side too. Hey, I wonder. I did not check my belt. I probably should have, huh? Yeah, I don't like it. At least you can see it it's printing. A little but. loose. The X is a little bit loose. The Y feels pretty tight. Jeez, whiz! The motion on this thing for the non-print moves is phenomenally fast. Yes, it is. We're gonna have uh, test cubes in two minutes. Watch out, Jim. LOL. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Test print either at 90, 95, or 100 millimeters a second, and it's quiet. Yes, it definitely is quiet. Jim Sellers, what's up? Uh, watch out, Jim. That's funny. It's almost like a Chep Cube. Um, has the artillery logo. Has anyone used Lubin? I have not myself. Have you used Lubin? I have not. Not to be confused with eating a Reuben. <laughs> I like this printer. I mean, just you know, from like three and a half minutes of printing with it. <laughs> right. Go back here. We'll come back in a minute to that. 
So we're both printing. I know it's, uh, oh, geez, about 8.30. What time do you have to go? I'm good. We're, we're okay for a little bit. All right. I run 150 millimeters a second on travel move, moves, Old Curmudgeon says. Old Curmudgeon, how you doing? Eighty-one people out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is real riveting stuff here now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got to tell you, we uh, if if we were not filming and talking and BSing a little bit, um, I'm guessing this would have been maybe a ten-minute bill, maybe fifteen tops. Um, yeah, I'd say it was, fifteen. It was, it was super fast. Um, it. It's super quiet. I mean, I got a, I got this lav, lav mic on, and if I go down here, I mean, you can't even. I, even it, it's the fans on this thing are quiet. The fans yeah. are quiet too, which surprises me. Right. I think this is my new favorite big printer. Uh, it, it, if, you if know, it holds up. If it holds up, my belts are pretty good. Um, yeah, like I, I said, my, solid my printer. A little, a little loose. Yeah, I got to check it, but where's the uh, tensioner at? Uh, Nate, the hot end is a volcano style hot end. Ooh. So it's instead of the, the heat block being flat and wide, it's tall and skinny. Yes, very much. The, the nozzle that they give us, where'd that thing go? So the nozzle's nozzle, like an inch long. Yeah, it, it's super long. Um, Travis Stamper says, I think it's a solid printer. No issues um, except that lever. What lever? Um, I got a Titan lever, all metal. fits it perfect. What lever are you talking about? Are you talking this one? Like on the, the load extreme? lever for the filament, I think. Yeah. I'm super pumped about this thing. Uh, I heard that it prints. Yeah, there you go. That's the nozzle. This thing's huge. Let's see. Here's uh, here's another look. We're just showing off our nozzles here tonight. <laughs> it's right here for everyone to see. There you go. Uh, it's on the internet now. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> no taking it back. <laughs> uh, Jester's 3D Tabletop Gaming. How you doing? Dub Dub says Lubin is pretty awesome. Uh, he they used it for a three foot long yellow submarine model. Nice. I, I if I remember right, Lubin is the software that breaks stuff up. Right, like you can make something huge, you take something huge and break it into multiple pieces. Um, much like we did for Wiley's uh, coin, I think. Um, I'm not sure if Ryan's on right now, but I, I think he used Lubin. The lever breaks all the time. Yes, that lever. Okay. I'll have to watch the lever. How's yours looking? That's so solid. So good. Yeah. My flashlight so I can really look. So, uh, I may need to adjust the temperatures because I think this filament likes to print a little hot. I don't I haven't even looked to see what temperature it's printing at. It's printing at 210. I was just going to say, yeah, it's probably good. Yeah. Mine, you know, oh, the fan's at 225. Mine's at 200. Uh, beds at 60. So I, and I used uh, the print should have told it what temp to go to, right? Technically. Yeah. Um, so, so those of That's you like that. that follow uh, so the social medias might know that I, uh, I've been playing with a laser, a freaking laser beam. Um, so I did this last night. Let's see. There's so much it's glare. Red huh? Batman. It's Red Batman. It's <laughs> <laughs> so much glare in there. A little little daredevil action. Yeah. That that was awesome. Uh just don't use it. I don't know what. I printed an arm in nylon. Just don't use it. Okay. I load and pod by the screen. Okay. Um, this one, let's see. Man, there's so much glare back there. Yeah, but. you're gonna have to 
you're going to have to burn some of those and send them to me. <laughs> Amen. I'm in. So I, I'm, uh, if anyone needs a glass bed, let me know. You pay shipping and it's free. What'd you do with yours? Did you swap it out? <laughs> Travis says, do I want some sharks to go with that freaking laser beam? Yes. Yes, I do. You need That's sharks. cool as heck. Thank you. Thank you, uh, 3D Miss Printer. One thing that I, I am oh, curious on, about this queue is I noticed that it has rounded edges. So I wonder if that's designed to kind of minimize ringing that you might see for a test print to give you a really nice test print. Oh, you're talking about the think? cube. Yeah, the cube. It does definitely yeah. have uh, rounded edges. Maybe. Good question. So did you play with a, a let's see, did you play with a slicer profile yet? Pay no attention to the man behind that school. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't done anything at all trying to set up a trying to set right. up a profile for it yet. Uh, Specialist 3D says, I love that you guys go live on both channels. That's fun. Um, I want to laser it was, so bad. I, I hadn't done it before. Jim, Jim is the one driving this, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Anytime. I like it. It's fun. And, and what's cool is um, I had Brian remote in, put his, put his credentials in so we could push this to his channel. As soon as I'm done, um, I'll post my own videos to his channel. And then, no, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> but uh, mine. as soon as I'm done, oh, I, I, I the, the, links. <laughs> um, my workout videos, <laughs> sweating to the 80s. Uh, no, as soon as I'm done, I, you know, I, I delete the connection and we go on. We do the same thing with Creality um, and, and Luke. Uh, we've done that with him, and and it just it works really well with the Streamyard that that they allow us to do that. Uh, and it's cool because there's probably people on Brian's channel that have seen Brian and never seen me, and, and vice versa. Um, and You're kind so, of cross pollinate the printing yeah, community. Welcome. How do you guys make that go live on both YouTube channels? So, so it's a, a program called StreamYard is what we're using. Um, I believe you could do it with other programs as well, but StreamYard is what I use. Um, I, I pay like 25 bucks a month or something myself. Um, there is a free version, but uh, for, for myself, I pay like 25 bucks a month and it does a bunch of stuff. And, and one of the things is you can stream to like three, lo I think three locations on the subscription I pay for. Um, Steven says X1 was converted to a Duet 3D um, gantry supports. I was wondering about that. Um, TH3D so easy ABL. Mm -hmm. TH3D easy yeah. ABL. Um, panel do. Oh, et cetera. It was, nice. a, it was a pretty trick. I sold it to a follower on Twitter. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Travis Stamper says he can't post links, but he found a good cura profile i have a warranty replacement glass bed in a box if anyone wants to buy it contact me i'm in for that uh steven let me know hit me up on twitter so i don't forget but i could always use an extra um unless somebody else out there wants it but but uh my thought is now i guess i can't really i want to put a flex plate on this somehow <laughs> i could probably figure it well, out. well you can put the magnet on top of the glass you could. It just take a little bit longer to heat up, right? And I it lose take longer hair. to heat up. Add to the mass. I lose a little hair. A hair of Z height. A couple millimeters. Two or three millimeters. Probably yeah. three millimeters total. Mm -hmm. um, eccentric nuts? Questioning mark. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, let's see. Hey, Steven, since you are a Prusa slicer dude, do you have a Prusa slicer profile for this? And I, if you do, I bet it's a. Uh, set up for yours so that might not help us i made gantry supports for mine mike steven said um what's my thoughts on the sovel sv01 versus the sidewinder x1 you know i i can't speak for the sovel because i don't have it yet but i do have one on the way um i also have the lot max or lot max however you say it sc10 down here that i haven't put together yet and once i get those together um i think i'll do a video on enter three Ender 3 Pro, and you know, the whole line of that, those little printers and see, you know, what I think of them. Um, 
the the build volume on the X1 is larger than the SD01. Yes. The SD01 yes, yes. got like a 280 by 240 by 300 some odd Z height. Um, but this printer is a lot quieter. Oh, the SD01 quiet. still has the, the old noisy stepper drivers and the fans on it are loud. Gotcha. This thing is quiet. This thing's quiet. And uh, although both the SV01 and this have the, the Titan style three to one gear ratio extruder, this has the volcano style nozzle or the hot end. So this can push the plastic faster. I definitely will do that. Um, Steven had a wham bam. Uh, you just stuck it to the glass and it's the best part of that printer. Uh, the bed is the best part of that printer. Why is that? I can't even sleep on it. That was What's your sleep bad. number? <laughs> 60 C. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. S S or Sky Mini E3 in my Ender's crazy quiet. Nice. I have the... Um, see, I have a, a couple silent boards from Creality. I have a couple of the TH3D Easy Board lights. Uh, I, I like those a lot. They're just built like tanks, um, and they're they're super quiet too. This thing is like really surprisingly super quiet. I agree. Uh, Old Curmudgeon says I found out that I can print the largest part of Ivan's CNC build on my Ender Three. Yay! Nice. Hey Henry, how you doing? Hi, Henry. Nice to see you. And Mike Stevens says that he's got both printers, and he uh, says his Silvo may be the better, the better printer. Yeah, I saw that. I think I, I put it on the screen. Boom. The beds are similar. They've got. They both have the the textured glass bed. Right. And I'm I'm curious. Um, yeah. Like I said, I don't have it yet. Um, we both have another fun one coming that we can't really discuss too much about but um that'll be a fun printer i think that'll be a good review mm -hmm. i don't think it's in the same realm though no it's a little different little apples and oranges on that one uh let's see soval sv01 jeff says i can't wait to get one everyone uh, you know what there's a ton of people that really like the soval so I mean, back here we it's, got it's my. Easy to put together. It's easy my to put together. Three. Yeah. It's the just like three this one. Uh, huh? I want to build Ivan's giant printer so bad. Nice. I love Sovol as well. The, the major complaint uh, that I've got on the SV01 is just the noise. Got it. First and foremost, it's just it's just a loud printer. It's not a bad printer. It's just a loud printer. So uh, Comics Legend says, out of all the FDM 3D printers you own, what's your favorite? Go ahead. I'll let you go first. <laughs> you know, you. Andre, I, I've got too many of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's that uh, is I, I actually I'm liking the, I'm, I'm liking the Ender 3 V2 real well for for the for kind of the medium to small size printer. I guess that's kind of the new small. Is it the is. is the you know yeah. the 220 by 220 by 250 is kind of the that's that's the starting line now. Right. Um, and that's fine. That I would prefer the V2 have a flex plate instead of the glass. No. I can change that myself, and I will. Um, I would prefer that the hot end fan on the V2 not be as loud as it is. Yeah, that's it's, pretty loud. It's loud. It's sometimes it sounds like a hair dryer, but the fans on the V2 are the loudest things on it. But uh, uh, yeah. for, for small ones, I, the V2 is it's that's my favorite, and it probably will be until I end up with my CR6 SE, which I got a shipping notification on three weeks ago, and huh. UPS still doesn't have it. <laughs> so you uh, you probably didn't have any add-ons, right? You didn't add anything special onto it then. 
No, I thought about it at the time and then I didn't do it. So I didn't have add-ons. I got a shipping notification three weeks ago. Um, I was backer number 190 on that Kickstarter. Okay. And it they swore up and down that they were not going in reverse order on the backer yeah. numbers to fulfill the orders, but they were going in reverse order yeah, yeah. on the backer numbers to fulfill the orders. Right. Well, and they and they did everything without add-ons first. And now and um they started sending stuff with add-ons today, I believe now. They uh, my friend yeah, I saw that. a, a I good friend of mine uh Steve he, he's the reason I got into this uh, 3D printing thing. He's a backer um he was 404. I, I remember that because wow. he sent me a he <laughs> sent me a 404 and I said error error and he's like what? But um uh, um he finally got shipped today, and today was the first day they shipped the things with accessories. So he's super excited. But like, like you said, three weeks ago, and you don't even have a, a tracking number or anything yet. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, hang on just a second. What? Hang on. Yes, someone says Ivan lost his filament sponsor a year ago. That's got to be a massive plastic bill. That is true. He goes through a lot of plastic. Uh, Jester's 3D tabletop gaming. My printer is on the bed. Rest until I have the part shipped. It's killing me. Which part are you missing? <laughs> Back or not found. Exactly. Thank you, Brandonson. Um... Big printer uses 285 filament, doesn't it? Yes, I believe it does. It have to for that amount. Um, I mean, that's crazy. This thing is cooking. I'm telling you. Uh, let me let me click over here and show you. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. I appreciate you guys coming out. Like I said, this is kind of a last minute, like a last minute thing. We both had. Uh, we both had printers and we we said hey we should put them together together um let me just do this real quick while brian's in the background there there we go maybe my really sophisticated camera mount is failing me <laughs> are oh, you getting the uh the top of the cube yet uh it looks like it Let's see. It looks like I'm getting. Oh no, I'm getting infill. Here. Let's see if this. Yeah. Let's see if I can. That's what I'm at. This thing is so fast. Why is mine and faster than yours? You, yours started printing first. I don't know. Good question. Where's my mouse so I can? Mine says it's at seventy-eight percent on the screen. 78? Yeah. Mine says 60. What? Interesting. 61 right now. Wow. So, so, <laughs> so here's the question. You said um, you said yours was printing at what temp right now? Tim's just... Uh, funny. 210. See, mine's printing at 200. And I didn't touch anything, so I just hit print, and you'd think the G code in the cube would tell it what what temp, right? It should. So I'm wondering. I mean, I think I we have. Or, no, well, I didn't even preheat mine. I wonder if we have somehow we both preheated ours because we had to to level. I Glass preheated my bed. That's true. Um, have a good night, Blasto. Hi, Blasto. Thanks for coming, and uh, I appreciate that. I look forward to checking out Instagram to check out more of your projects. What if you printed with PETG? Oh, what if you printed with PETG through, though? Why not? Definitely could print with PETG. So I heard um, firmware changes. Oh. Old curmudgeon says there might be firmware changes. Maybe. I should see when we're done. I'll have to see what firmware. Um Jim got a refurbished one, I bet, because of the bag, uh, the of the bag and the parts. It might be. Now it came from Banggood, so I'm not sure. I, mean, I would hope they're not selling refurbished printers, but hey, I can't say they aren't. The uh, 
Yeah, the G code would put in the wrong temp. I'm curious about that. We'll have to check the uh, firmware when we get done. Yeah, I'm only at 66. And I'm at 23 minutes and 31 seconds right now. What are you at? Um, 85% and it's not giving me a time. Oh, there's no, there's no, uh, time right under the barcode here. Let me show you what I'm seeing. Let's show each other our screens. Maybe our screens are different. Could be. This is some, you know, high level stuff here, guys. <laughs> All right, here's what I got. Oh, hang on. Let me fix this so I can see yours now, too. Oh, yeah, I see a time in there. It's uh, right under the green bar. No. No? No? Nope. I've got the it's oh. jump. I've got the fan speed, and Hit I've got back. a B colon 54. Hit back <laughs> on that back arrow there. There you go. There we go. I was going to say, I'm seeing this screen here. If I can adjust myself to where the heck it is. Wow. I must be drinking. There's a big light above me, apparently. But Yeah, I'm trying to, to fight that issue on mine, too. There we go. Yeah, that's not going to work. There we go. So... Interesting. I'm wondering why yours is faster. Yeah, you because mine mine started right before yours. So if yeah. we were racing, you would win. <laughs> you you yeah. had kind of let out a yell when yours started moving at about a million miles an hour, and then yeah, yeah. About well, a later uh, when mine did, I could have did the same sound. If yours came from, uh, if yours came from straight from that, and mine came from Banggood, I wonder if I have an older stock sitting you know in the bang good pile up there uh because travis says the older firmware um could cause this because the newer firmware works way better i'm gonna check it out when we're is yours done not yet i wonder it's if i can 96 can i speed it up just for the heck of it speed Nope. No button for ludicrous speed? No, but I found the uh, light button. Hello, Shane. Sorry about the motion sickness. <laughs> someone th someone's throwing up over there, huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> Shane. Where's the, Shane. Uh, where's the speed at? How do I change it? I was looking at the screen trying to find it. If I hit option, more, speed, oh, right here maybe? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking this bad boy up. We're going 110%. <laughs> oh, now we're moving. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now i got to let it cool before I can get that off of there. How do I change the, here we go. Oops. I'm going to give this thing some uh, temp now that I'm moving it so, uh, so fast. All right, now I'm doing the top at 110%. <laughs> oh, nice. It looks good. It's not bad. Oh my God! This thing is this thing is rocking now. I'm now at eighty <laughs> percent. Got to go fast. There you go. Good luck, Brian. Um, use that before I have my profile tuned for a forty-seven millimeter bench. I have a three hundred percent FR custom button in Octoprint. <laughs> nice. It feels smooth. The layers. Can you get it off the bed? Or are no, you trying to wait, wait for it to cool? Let it cool down first. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Next thing you know, we need Steven's bed because I just scratched a new one on the first print, you know. <laughs> no. What's the record time for a Benchy? What was the record time for a Benchy comp at um, Earth or Murph? Uh, I don't remember. Like the, the high 20 minute low. I think so. Minute, wouldn't it? For like a, a decent Benchy? Right. So I'm at 81% already. What uh, what firmware version are you on, if you can find it? That's a good question. Uh, same old shit. Oh, I get it. They're using the new drunk vision for their stream. Yes. The last time I let it cool, it was harder to get off. Had to heat it to 30C to get it off. Oh, boy. I can change the lights. Pop it off hot or not, 3D Miss Printer says. Oh, you found the light changer. All right. I found the light button. How did you change the the actual light? Or you just touch the um, white bulb? Yeah, it was on it was under more on the yeah. I have it on off. Screen. I see that. I see the on off button. But I don't see is there like a actual color change? Yeah, there's oh, some yeah. preset colors. So oh, look at that. From here. I don't have that. Maybe, maybe it's because it's printing, but I don't have that. Probably because it's printing, yeah. Yeah. But from here, I, I go to more. Got it. Got yeah, I found that. I just All I have is on and off. How's okay. the baby, Ben? Ben, uh, Ben, the baby's great. He is hopefully still sleeping, um, but he's doing great. He uh, He's a little ham. Maybe I'll slice one at 200 millimeters when I get <laughs> range back to PLA. Nice. <laughs> Do it, old curmudgeon. Um, so I heard that this thing kills for uh, flexible filaments. It's supposed to be pretty awesome. Let's try that. Jester's I printed a Frisbee on my Ender 3. Nice. Jester's Tabletop 3D Gaming. He's, what? Has changeable lights. Awesome. Yes. There's a, there's a light under the hot end. And you can change it. If you look at Brian's picture in the bottom of the screen there. Um, yeah, there's your Frisbee. Did it work? Yeah. It's nice and flexible. Nice. Nice. It, flies, it flies reasonably well. I need to add a little bit more weight to the rim and print it again. But nice. that. That's awesome. That was on a stock Ender, stock Ender 3 V2. No modifications. Nice. TPU. It just took seven hours. <laughs> it, just took, it just had to print slow, right? Um, yeah, Ninja, Ninja uh, Flex. Uh, Travis says Ninja Flex is no issue. Comes with extra less in the bag too. I don't know what, what do you mean by that less. Oh, LEDs. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, there's a pair in the bag. I hate uh, I hate to be that guy, but that's a flying disc. Ooh. Yeah, well, the box of puffs I've got on my desk is Kleenex. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And it doesn't matter what the carbonated beverage is. If it's got caramel coloring, it's a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a Texas thing, right? Or a South it, thing. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a Southern thing, but it's, it's a Texas thing, too. It's like, you want a Coke? Yeah. What kind? Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Have you done any of the clock spring boxes? Uh, no, the only clock spring stuff that I've printed is stuff that he had released a while back. Oh. And he made like these little roll top things. Oh, nice. Sweet. And uh, I never glued this one together, but they just kind of print like that. I, 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 I absolutely print. love his stuff. I believe I'm going to be doing that with this probably straight away. Uh, someone says it's soda. That's what they call it here. Dub Doubt says it's soda. They call it soda in uh, Wisconsin here. Um, Dr. Pepper, old curmudgeon, says. So let me come on this side and show you this, uh, get a little closer. It's one of my favorites. So you can unscrew it, and it prints like this, straight up and down. It has a turnable knob here and has threads Let's see if you can see the threads there kind of and uh it, it you know it's a box right 
and you pop it in and lock it in. Uh, and it all prints just like that. I just, I love his stuff. Too cool. Too cool. Eating. Are you done yet? You smoked me, man. <laughs> smoked me. Yes, Travis Stamper, uh, Clock Spring 3D on Patreon. It's like eight bucks a month. Um, but you, he releases, I think, everything to you. Uh, that's what that's what he does. I pay eight bucks a month, I think. And everything he has is available to you. Uh, and it is awesome. His library is awesome. Um, there is so many good ones. This is another one of my favorites. It has a... Uh, I did a video on these because these all came off the Ender 3 V2 and it was a stock right right out of the box. So I, I used that's rainbow cool. filament. Um, that's the back. Here's the front. And then you turn the top and if you do it right, there we go. The box opens. And then the box locks. So good. I loved it. All right. Well, yeah, you you definitely smoked me. I'm at ninety four percent still, and I cranked it to one hundred and ten percent. Non fam says my bed's going to be cold before yours gets done. It, this is <laughs> it, you know what it's true, it's true. But you know what I I got to throw this out there, Brian. Uh, knock on wood. This area on film, it's not printing bad. Awesome. <laughs> that means that it doesn't have two and a half millimeter blobs of uh, unmelted. Yeah. I can't say that. I can't say that for sure, but it doesn't. I mean, it looks pretty pretty nice. I, uh, but I'll, I'll report. I mean, we'll keep we'll keep printing with it when I do all my tests on this printer. We'll find out. One hundred and ten percent wuss. <laughs> I'm at 97, or I'd crank it up a little higher. Yeah, this is not wanting to let go. No? Nope. The bed is just very slightly warm to the touch. Uh, Travis said, LOL, Brian, I told you, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jester's uh, Tabletop 3D Printing says, gorgeous. I love the rainbow. That was a fun color. I'm addicted to speed, loving Clipper. I heard Clipper is super fast. Uh, bed temp. What is your bed temp right now, Brian? Mm, 39 degrees. Nice. Uh, 3D Mist Printer says that he only uses Ziltec. Every other one he has gotten is not good. Oops. Hitting buttons, hitting I buttons. Had a, I had a spool of um, uh, Jesse PLA design white, but I won't be able to use it on this printer. No? Nope, because when it got shipped, there was a chunk that got broken out of the uh, edge of the spool. Uh, so with this particular spool holder, I won't be able to use that. So mine just finished. Um, Hooray! It looks pretty good for now. Wait a minute, yours isn't centered on the yours is not centered on your bed either. Yeah, yours is off that? to the right. Yeah, interesting. Let me just go back. Uh, let's go to tools. Uh, more. Hey, now I have bulb colors: blue, green. There you go. And red, and white, and off. I see that. Uh, level home yep. move more. Hmm. You see a firmware. I didn't see anything that would give me that. I see something with uh, Wi-Fi. Does this thing have Wi-Fi? Oh. Um, where are you seeing that? Ready, print, set up Wi-Fi. Uh, I went to, let me go back here. I went to set and from the main menu. And in the top, it looked like oh, a little. Oh, there is an about. A little artillery right of um, button. There we yeah, go. I got one point five. Yeah, same here. Interesting. Uh, 
continue fan Wi-Fi, whatever that means. Open Wi-Fi, close Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. This it has the option. Maybe a module that you can install. Yeah. Okay. So it has an option for it, but it's not installed. That's what they're saying. So is this where I take a chisel and pry it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Someone says a little tappy tap tap. Use the use uh you use Bison oh Vision Miner Palmer on the bed gym. I didn't on this one, but I definitely will going forward. Oh right here. Got a little my vision. Vision miner. I got a bunch of it uh, as samples, so I don't I didn't open that bag yet. <laughs> that is amazing. That's going to be there for a while. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. On that note, we're going to reconvene in two weeks when it actually lets go of the bed. And. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Steven, if you're still watching, I might need your uh, your bed in a minute. <laughs> Old curmudgeon says it's a, it's a permanent fixture now. I'll just have to print around it. <laughs> oh. You're chiseling mm. it. Don't chisel it. You'll scratch it. Oh, you know. What are you talking about? It's a very high-quality creality uh, chisel. No scratching. Hey, guess what? I found black filament in uh, in the bottom here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know you have to play Flight of the Bumblebees. Um, yes, Joel's thirty-eight thousand dollar printer that he took a huge chunk of glass out of. That was amazing. Yeah. So if you guys watch Hot Makes It All, he popped in at the uh, end of an episode a couple weeks ago and and uh, showed us that printer in, in Hot Makes, and he showed us the print that he broke off of, uh, you know, that he broke the printer with. And, and basically he had <laughs> just put something back over the top so he could keep printing, but not bad. Let's see if I can... Do, 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 do. I need a yeah, not bad. I got a lot of black filament. Do you see the black outline there on the bottom? Do you yeah, have mine's that? like that too? Yeah. Yep. Nasty. I see the removal process screwing the bed <laughs> the bed level. Hey, maybe. Doesn't look too bad though. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. Even the top at 110%. Now I'm curious if I if I give you my file and you give me your file, how fast it is. Elephant's foot. Wow. Um, actually, it had a it had uh, a brim a brim attached to it. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the orange. Um, ooh, ha, pretty. <laughs> so what I'm probably going to do is move this thing to the back bench. Back here, uh, not right now, but after the stream, and start playing with. It. I'm, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right through its paces. I'm gonna try to get some. Maybe I'll get some uh, clock spring boxes going in this orange. Wow, I'm way out of frame here. Clock spring boxes going in the orange, <laughs> and we'll get some tests going. Hi, did you awake? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, we are probably wrapping up. Are you about ready, Brian? Yep. I yep, got I, time to go. I have baby, I have baby duty. But uh yeah, we were just talking about ending it, so we're good. Love ya. Um, sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, I think I'll I'll pop it over there and start a bunch of uh test prints and we'll we'll do a little video on the test prints. How about you? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna do the same. 
I like it. Great stream, Jim and Brian. Thank you. Well, I really appreciate it. Um, it sounds like I have baby duty. I'm going to go fly to that. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for coming out and hanging out with Brian and I. Uh, I know I, it was fun putting this thing together. It was riveting. I mean, I mean riveting. We, we didn't have nuts. We didn't have bolts. No. <laughs> uh, you know what we should have done? We should have painted something first. And then people could have watched the paint dry while watching us build something. Oh, man. That's a great idea. Would have doubled the excitement. Would it, would we, would it have actually dried, though? I mean, if, if they were I watching, know. I don't this, know. this really didn't take all that long. <laughs> no, it wasn't bad. But thank you, guys. If you're really going to build one of these, and in all honesty, like 15 minutes, I think that's about right for this thing. It goes together really fast. Um, it was really yep. easy to put together. I love the metal so far. Um, I'm loving the extruder and I'm loving the whole uh, direct drive hot end so far. I mean, we've only done one print on it, mm -hmm. but so far so good. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Grass growing close up on the camera. Nice. We could have done that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start rocking. Look, stay tuned to both our channels, uh, the Edit Tech and BB3D for Brian Vines. And we'll have some uh, reviews coming out soon. Maybe we'll talk and plan that for the same day. That would be funny. Uh, that would be cool. Yeah. We, we should do that. So um, on our timeline, about three weeks? Is that so no. <laughs> uh, it may be a few weeks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you guys are checking out these um, so far, initial reaction on my side, I like it so far. But, again, we've had it for, what, an hour. What do you think so far, initial reaction? Initial reaction, uh, I like it because it's quiet. You know, you know what? It, it looks like all of the end stops are inductive end stops. I thought it was just the Z, but if you look at the back of the Y axis, yeah, that's also got an inductive end stop on it, and the uh, X axis does as well. Interesting. Pretty neat. Um, but it's it's super super quiet and it's fast. It's like shockingly fast. Well, yours is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna print something, and maybe my belts aren't tight enough. I'll, this, I'll this send you, I'll send you my file later, and then you can print it and see. I'll try. It. Yeah, that'll be fun too. And I'm gonna tension up this belt a little bit too, um, because that's not the best. But but yeah, I uh, I speak for probably both of us. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching for a couple hours now. And uh, yep, yep, when yeah. uh, when we'll have the lot, lot max. Um, the lot max that's the SC10 is sitting right here. It's sitting right, right here. Um, I don't have what. What's the other one? I don't have yet. The uh, what? The one you have. What? What the Sobel? Yeah, there you go. I don't have the SVO one yet, but that one's on its way. But uh, I'll do that. Um, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up. Uh, give Brian that thumbs up and hit that bell on both our channels. And when we do the lot max, you'll be notified. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, thank you You've guys. got a lot max. I don't. <laughs> yeah, you can come. Why not? <laughs> I'll hang out. I like it. That's, I, I got to say, this is much faster than filming and editing. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Well, well yeah. Right. It's about as long as filming. And then, then he got four hours of editing. <laughs> this, is, this is a true story. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, families are calling. we got to get flying, but we really appreciate it once again. Thank you for being on the channel. Um, Brian, hang out right there for just a second, and I'll be right back with you. Will do. And everybody else. Hi, everybody. Thanks for thank coming. Thank you, everybody. If I could wave in the camera. Wait, wait. <laughs> I feel like I'm being framed. No? No? All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great night. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs>